Hi, Jessica. Time to learn how to properly cast the fly. <laughs> Because we've been out fishing before, yes. and it was a little dangerous sometimes, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, I guess so. <laughs> okay, so first things first, here's our rod. It's nine and a half feet long, and we have a floating line on, and you want to learn how to cast using a floating line because you can feel the rod load. So the rod is this long nine and a half foot flexible lever that it flexes, and when it bends, it loads energy and then when you come forward or back the energy is transferred to the fly line and that's what sends the fly line shooting out there is the energy that it gets built up in the rod and so casting is not brute strength it's all about letting the rod load and then it the rod energy carries the line forward so we've got a this is a six weight rod. We have a weight forward six floating fly line on it. And the first 30 feet of this fly line is heavily weighted. It's still floating, but there's more weight up front. And that's what we need the rod to load in order to make it cast. So the first cast we want to learn is called the roll cast. So we need about, uh, about uh, 30 feet of line out, 25, 30 feet. In order to get it out, you just strip the line off the reel and then you make snakes in the water and that the drag on the water will get the line out. And so we get enough line out about there. And a roll cast is very, it's the first thing, simplest cast to learn. You slowly bring the rod up. You stop just past 90 degrees. There's 90 degrees right there. Wait for the line to stop. And then we're gonna, we're gonna drive the rod down to the 10 o'clock position and drift it down to the water, just like that. And see how the line rolls out? So it's, bring it back, stop, wait for the line to stop. I'm gonna power to 10 and drift the rod down. That's all there's to it. And the grip on your rod, you're not trying to kill it. It's, it's fairly loose. Your thumb should be either right on top of the cork or just to the side. So the way you, when you're, when you're casting, you're just gonna, you can put everything underneath your, pinch it underneath your fingers. It's up, stop past 90, wait for the line to stop, drive to 10 and drift it down. And that's, if you could cast that far, which is 30 feet, you, that's far enough to catch fish. You make that look incredibly easy. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> underneath. Fold. Pull. Just with three fingers? You, you can have all your fingers on it, doesn't matter. Okay. And and this hand's Down. Okay. nowhere near it. And so you're you're bending your wrist as you come forward, come back. Yeah. Bend, keep going, past 90, stop. And now power to 10 and drift down. We're done. We'll go fishing. I'm, I'm like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Try again? Do it again. Okay. Everything's slow. Bend your wrist, crack you up, stop, wait, now power forward. There you go. It's perfect. So you can strip a bit more line off and, and pull uh, from the bottom, right? No. Yep, yeah, yeah, pull yeah, from the bottom. Yes. Yeah. A few more. Okay, so that's enough. And then swiggle it out. Yeah, there you go. Snakes All on up. the water? On the, what snakes on the water. Do it again. Okay. Perfect. One more time. Remember, you have to stop at 10 right. and then you drift down. Perfect. That's all there is to it. So that's, you've got wow. the roll cast down pat. When we add, if we're fishing with a strike indicator, so we add an indicator of swivel in the fly, right. it gets a little more awkward, but basically it's the same. You can do the roll cast with all that gear on there now. And then the next cast, after you've mastered the roll cast, cause it's all about timing. Wait, stop, flip it, drop. And then the next cast is called a pickup and shoot cast. So we strip a bit of line so we can do, we're gonna do the roll cast. Pick, and then pick it up, forward and shoot. Let's see how much further you can get. Okay, this is level two. This is like level five. <coughs> so, so I would strip some line in. Strip some line okay. in. Like to where? About there. Okay. Now, when you do that roll cast, you're gonna come forward, back, 
shoot it forward. It's going to level. It's going to straighten out and hit the water. And then you're going to pick it up. And you're going to come back. And the rod's only going to go back to 1 o'clock. Okay. 2 o'clock maximum, not 3 o'clock or lower. And then forward to 10 o'clock again. Okay. And stop. So roll cast. And then back. Pick it up now. Back. So you got the right idea. <laughs> I'm just going to show you what, what it's all doing? about loading the rod now. So when we come back, the, ro the line's going to be in a U shape. It's going to be like this. And just as that U straightens out, that's when you're going to come forward. So you can look, you can turn your head. Right. See it just about straight, come forward. <clears throat> just about straightens out and we come forward. And see, um, no effort. There's no, there's no effort in my, no strength required. Go forward, come forward, stop at 10, and drift down. So again, you're going to do the roll cast. 1 o'clock, 10 o'clock, let it go. So you're just starting with the roll cast. Starting, starting with the roll slowly. cast, yeah. Okay. Perfect, back now. Perfect, whoa, one's good. Oh, just do one. But you did two, <laughs> that's fine. See, you've got, now that's what you just did, those last two, yep. that's called false casting. And that's how you get more distance, you get more line aerialized. So do that again, and then I think we're ready to go fishing. Okay. Perfect. Ooh. See? <laughs> That's great. So it's pretty simple. It just takes practice. Definitely. Always want to practice with a floating line. It's much better to be on the water, whether you're at one of our public fishing docks yeah. or on the shore of a learn to fish pond, as long as you're casting on water. You can do it on grass, but you don't get the same resistance on grass as you do on water. And it's a lot easier on your fly lines. Makes sense. Ready to go fishing? I'm ready. Okay. Yep.